higher ups. Uh, phase came to London, time to wrap up the season, Blast Premier, Spring Final. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm ready to uh, wrap up the season. That's that's the number one goal, to finish strong and yeah, let's see. So between uh, Dallas and the Blast Finals, uh, you obviously had to prep for this event. Did you manage to get some rest uh, in between? Um, well, we had one week uh, between these two tournaments and um, well, we, we kind of just split it in half. We had uh, like three days of rest um, and then like three days of practice in the last day, I think it was a travel day. So um, a bit of rest and a bit of practice. Um, that's, that's all you can do. Um, we try to keep a good balance. The last couple of events marked the end of a streak of eight finals in a row. Um, for you, probably a bit of a weight out of the shoulders. Of course, FaZe is expected to be in finals. At what point does it become worrying about you guys not making it to the finals? Never. I mean, we're always a strong contender. No team is ever going to make uh, the final every single time they, you know, they expect to or they wish to, you know, everyone wants to win. So there's going to be tough competition in every single tournament, I feel like. And we're all experienced and we know how, you know, you can have a bad period, you can have a good period. It's always going to be like this in any competition. And I feel like we've, we've done a good good job of, of staying where we are and um, we're keeping our heads straight of, of what we want to do in terms of, you know, what we want to win always. And I think... Um, we have a good idea how to put the work in and how to make everything work inside the team. Like every dominating era, the team had a really strong map pool and FaZe obviously also had a really strong map pool. Recently, that doesn't seem to be the case. There are some, some issues with your map pool. Did you manage to sort something out before coming here? Are you more confident on your map pool heading into the event? Uh, we're more confident uh, here in terms of our map compared to the previous tournament, which was Dallas. Um, we definitely, you know, our go-to pick has been nuke a lot of the times, and we've played so many times over the past six months now that so we we just don't know what to do in some scenarios because there's so many demos of us and teams really are able to study all the favorite strats we have, the go-to moves we have, so like the things we like to do sometimes don't work anymore and that's why our map pool is kind of weak and um, we kind of, before this tournament now at home, um, we did some preparation uh, ahead of time, like we kind of cut um, some of the strats we had in the, in the strat book um, and we made some, made some new ones in, in in preparation for the next season, basically, um, that's what we what you would do in in the next season. You would know you would we usually make a new playbook, um, come up with new strats. But we did some of that now, so we can uh, be ahead of time and have a fresh mind for the last tournament as well. This is the end of a very tiring season, and the changes to the map pool didn't help a lot of teams. Uh, Vertigo, which was one of the most popular maps at least at ACL Pro League, uh, suddenly people have been avoiding it uh, a lot. There hasn't been a lot of time to prep and phase, even though it is your permaban. You have shown already before that you aren't afraid to float Vertigo into high-stake games like the Spirit at a Major. With that being said, do you believe that Vertigo could play a big role here at Blast? Do you think people are planning to have it as an ace up the sleeve? Well, I can't comment on, on our plans or in terms of uh, what the map will be for us in this tournament. Um, I think Vertigo is is a mess, definitely. Um, I think teams were avoiding it because the map is just a bit different and teams didn't have time to, to prepare the map. So it's very random what the result would be for any team going into that map. And um, we'll see. I, I have no idea if people have prepared Vertigo or not. Um, it's... But we're gonna take it match by match, and if it comes to comes to play, we'll we'll treat it in, in that moment. Um, for now, um, we have some plans, but obviously I can't comment on, on any of them. And I think the overall map pool is is pretty bad. I think Vertigo should have gone. And um, yeah, I feel like Valve don't really have a clue what they're doing. Um, both Brokey and Frozen, two of your biggest heavy hitters. 
have um, have been down these past events. Do you think they are just well tired, or there's something else troubling them with their performances? Um, I think it's just the team results. I think you know we we never really have a superstar like Saibu or uh, Donk or even Monesty at this point. You know, many teams um, just play good team CS. So so do we, and I think our players. Are able, are able to shine when we when we win and we, we play good matches and that's when you know they're gonna show up better numbers that's for sure so um, I mean we got wrecked in, in Dallas for example in uh, the game against G2 and also um, the game before that we got, we got wrecked as well so if you lose you're, you're gonna take a hit always and um, I think um, when we get back to getting better results, you'll see the numbers go back as well. It's just we're playing, we're playing like Team CS, so it's it's very lenient on that. So the lowest rated team at the uh, Blast Premier Spring Finals will be your first opponent uh, in the group. Uh, what do you think about the Portuguese side? Uh, do you think they will try to surprise you in any way? Of course they'll try to surprise us and, you know, they, they want to show that they belong in, in this tournament and um, they want to do a good result. That's always the expectation of any team. I think, um, you know, they've had, they've had a few good runs uh, historically now. They made, the, they made the major, obviously. And also uh, qualifying for this tournament means a lot, obviously. You get to play with the biggest names and against the biggest teams. Um, we're not going to underestimate them, of course. Um, we are experienced in how to treat the match, whether it's a tough opponent or an underdog. So in this case, obviously an underdog. I mean, and and um, we're going to do our preparation and we're going to treat them with, with respect and we'll see how the match goes. Uh, what are your expectations for the last spring final in general? Um, I think a top four would be a satisfying result, considering how our run at and Dallas went. But um, I think at this point, um, it's been a long time since this phase roster won a blast tournament, so we would be very happy to win a blast tournament at this point. Um, we've had a couple of final runs in one of the fall finals, I think two years ago, um, and the recent world final. Before Christmas, now we had a final, but we never won a blast tournament. I've never won a blast tournament, so I'll be happy to win one. Uh, maybe it's this one. Let's hope so. Even though you have been the most consistent team in CS2, you are currently sitting at third in the rankings. Obviously, a win would be nice to wrap up the season. Uh, and Maus, the current number one, is out of the picture. Do you think that the number one spot is currently up for grabs at this event? How important would it be for FaZe to add up into the player break as number one? The number one spot is definitely up for grabs, just because Mouse isn't here, I feel like. Um, I think it's between Vitality and uh, us, maybe. If we win, we can go ahead of Mouse. But um, I'm not sure how the numbers work in the end. We'll see if it comes to that. And I think... If we have a chance to be number one and win this tournament going into the break, I think that would be the dream. Um, but um, you know how things go. Um, there might be surprises. There might be things going to as expected. Um, we'll have to see. But I think everyone would be super satisfied um, going into a break because once you get into that break, you won't have no regrets. Thank you, Robs, and best of luck at the Blast Premier Spring Finals.